Hey guys, here to talk to you about shifters again. We, we get a lot of questions about different variations and how they're offered. So we've, we went through a lot of this in the last video, but we want to reiterate it and then get into a little bit more of the details. Um, you've got a console style, has the black plastic housing. It's probably the most popular. And you've got a, what we call a universal flush mount. This is made to be mounted in a flush panel, um, a dashboard, a console that's already pre-manufactured, something to that sort. Uh, you bolt in uh, vertically with these four bolts on each side. This is considered a no console. What it is is more or less this shifter with the console removed. We've got different mounts and that's where some of the confusion comes in. Uh, we've got mounts made for the different styles of shifters. With a console style we laser cut this bracket that goes in and bolts to the four bolt holes in the plastic housing sits down on it. We've also got a laser cut piece that helps you stand it off of a piece of tube. Pretty popular in Jeeps uh, that will have uh, seats tied into the cage, stuff like that. You usually have a cross tube going across the vehicle. So these would sit underneath this. It's coped for tube, sit underneath, let you allow the pitch of the, a pitch of the shifter to make it comfortable, slide it forwards and backwards to make the, you know, the reach correct. This mount is only for a console style shifter. Um, the next one obviously is, is the flush mount. It is made to be mounted with the four vertical bolts per side. We do have a mount that fits it. We, call, we consider this our no console mount, but it will physically fit this shifter. Um, it bolts in more or less the two bolts where the shifter housing bolts in right here. It's two quarter 20 bolts and that lets you, you know, it bolts in at one position. Again, it's coped for tube and allows you to pivot it raise it, lower it, trim it, whatever you need to do. This mount was designed for this style of shifter. This is what we use in our shop, 90% uh, of it going in a buggy. It goes in, it bolts right here on the edge. We put this down on a, a cross tube in the chassis. Then we build an aluminum box that goes around this. So this is more or less attached to the steel component, attached to the tube work of the chassis, and this is covered, this mechanism is covered with aluminum housing or something of the sort. Our Jeep chassis takes a lot of these uh, because you're dealing with a kind of an exposed hub. You're not building sheet metal in a dash and all that stuff around it. So it takes a console style. That's really about the, the difference between the styles of shifters. Uh, everything's available in all these configurations. It doesn't matter if you've got a you know, 700R4, you got a 4L, you know, a 4L80, uh, C6, C4, they're available in all three configurations. The next thing we get questioned about a lot is gate plates. What exactly is a rock gate? A rock gate allows you, is open to reverse. So if you've got a standard pattern transmission valve body, it would be third gear to reverse is open. There is no gate plate stopping it. So it's right here. It's completely open. Allows you to get it, you know, if you're, if on a hill trying to get into reverse real quick, that's very, very beneficial. Uh, it was designed to be for reverse pattern, but you can run it in a stock pattern configuration. A stock pattern gate is this. It's got a gate between first and reverse or third and reverse. You have to go around that to come in uh, and catch reverse. For what we do off-road, not the best, not the greatest. Uh, it works really well. Street-driven vehicle, I'd suggest putting a standard gate in. If you, if you have it in high gear, um, it can be knocked into reverse really easy if you're driving down the highway, whatever it may be. So I don't recommend a rock gate for a road driven, a constantly road driven vehicle. The only difference in a stock pattern and a reverse pattern is the sticker. The shifter itself is physically the same. The gate plate is physically the same. The only difference is the sticker itself on it. So if you find yourself with a re reverse pattern, you need a stock pattern. We do have stickers that are a few dollars, but that is the only difference in any shifter that's out there. The other thing we get questioned about or asked about a lot is the safety switch kits. There is a park safety switch. A park safety switch only allows you to start the vehicle in park if you have it wired. For what we do off-road, um, we either don't need them because you know we're not going fast, we're, we're slow going, or we want like the park neutral safety switch, and they do have one that's a park neutral safety switch with a backup light. Uses two micro switches and a series of cams underneath the body of the shifter. They go down in the body here, uh, so they're kind of tucked out of the way. They're pretty, you know, pretty tidy, pretty, you know, they're not exposed to elements. Um, 
Those are not available for every application. That's the reason they're not in a drop down on our website. You have to go to a different screen to grab the one that fits your transmission. So there's a, for the most popular ones, they are available and some of the newer shifters are not available yet. They just not, have not finished developing those. Um, again, our shifter knob is on all of these. It does come with a, a, a smaller ball type. We prefer the bigger type. Um, it can be added in the drop down also. If you got any other questions, let us know and check out the website.